Quick tropical weather briefing for you on the storm that is becoming Melissa. And in the days ahead, we've got two scenarios that look to be the most likely forecast for the track and intensity and where the impacts will be. Scenario one gives us uh, around a Friday through Monday event through the Central Caribbean. And on scenario two, the impacts in the Central Caribbean would be more of a Saturday through Thursday. So just a day later, but a little bit longer impacts through portions of the Central Caribbean. Now on Thursday, that's when we will start to see which model has really got the better take on this system because the American is a, pretty much a scenario one and the European model is scenario two. The official forecast track at this time just kind of wanders it off to the left. But I will tell you that as you look at the models, there's not good consistency. When you see them going all over the place like this, we really don't have a strong take on that. That is not unusual for a very weak storm. It's only when we really start to see the low closed off and all the tropical characteristics starting to be taken on that we get an idea of what the track will look like and the model start to come in line. The intensity also a little bit all over the place as we get into the long range forecast, but more indications are becoming that we would see a hurricane out of this. So taking you through scenario one just very quickly, you can see on Thursday here a stronger storm south of Haiti and then moving over Hispaniola on Friday and through the Turks and Caicos and the southeastern Bahamas on Saturday before Sunday and Monday starting to pull away from Turks and Caicos and the southern Bahamas. But wind and swell and storms could be possible along the Puerto Rican coast, the northern coastlines of uh, Dominican and Hispaniola and also of Cuba as well. Now, the European, which is scenario two, takes a little bit longer to start working its way northward, but on Friday, we would see it starting to cut through in between areas of Jamaica and Hispaniola. However, right as it looks like it's pulling north, it starts to retreat back southwest. Not a lot of steering currents, and the storm is still weak, so it could wander around. But you can see through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're going between Jamaica and Grand Cayman over Cuba. And on Thursday, the day before Halloween, could be cutting right through the central Bahamas. So that's why I say the scenario one is the preferred one, but it is... Still to be determined here on Tuesday. I think we need to get to Thursday before we'll really get an alignment of which scenario is going to be the most likely one. And that's when we can lean into the forecast of what the track will be and work on the intensity. So still a little bit more time to go, but that's the latest on what we're watching and what can play out. And I'll see you soon with a fresh take on your weather briefing.